Welcome traders to this uh, short video on the necessity of having a trading plan and a strategy. Today is Friday, July 27th and what we're going to look at is a few trades that I executed today and to give you some sort of context at 8.30 in the morning we had a news release of a good GDP number and the retail buyers basically took it up to uh, 28.44 and then we had an exhaustion trade in my opinion one of my favorite trades because when there is good news such as this that is typically bad news for the market because what the market's going to view that as is a possibility that the Fed will tighten interest rates based on this good news so exactly what kind I kind of expected happened we see we traded into an exhaustion trade and that's probably going to end up being the high of the day absent any other news I'm making this video at 11:30 Eastern but the market has been selling off constantly since that news release let's take a look at a couple of trades that I made the first is that we had a good number here against resistance and the fact that the market came through this blue support zone that's what set up the trade for me I entered the trade at 3650 it initially went a few ticks in my favor and then came back wasn't stopped out however the dollar sign tick was slightly higher and as we came back again to test that low on high volume we formed a ZTP order flow buy and immediately on the next bar I took a one tick profit and got out of that trade and as you can see that was an excellent decision the next trade that I went into was a few minutes later where we had a tick divergence trade and I as you can see I entered at 37.75 market initially went in my direction and was followed up by with a ZTP order flow buy but it, the buying was very weak and when that happened I decided to add a second contract in at 38 and that's according to my trading plan what I did by adding that contract at 38 I am getting a better risk reward off of that and at the same time my stop was moved to 38.75 risking just three ticks however as that trade progressed immediately after I entered the tick became non-divergent and you can see that by this red dot here and the fact that the tick divergence label has gone to red instead of black so because of that what my trading plan at that point is going to do is I'm just going to look to make nine ticks out of this and it's pretty unfortunate that just a few ticks caused me to do that because as you can see I was looking for three points here and uh, three points would have gotten filled down here fairly easily actually four would have been filled however I set the target then to nine ticks and had both contracts filled on this bar in looking at the five range chart what we can see is that a extension zone formed at the where I had sold the second contract at an additional extension zone formed here at 37 and a quarter and then unfortunately more extension zones formed as the target was being hit however because I was following my trading plan and normally you would expect to see some sort of bounce at this price I don't have any regrets in taking it off at this uh, at this level basically absent a significant reason to trade and the loss of the tick divergence pattern I felt comfortable in that exit this next short trade that I made again illustrates the importance of having a trading plan and a strategy I entered this trade as a trend trade again looking to make nine ticks and as you can see the trade filled here at uh, 275 
and the target filled exactly at the low of 3050 and after that contract had been filled you can see that we uh, formed a ZTP order flow buy signal taking the market up uh, another six or seven ticks so all in all that was a good day making six points off of those couple of trades if you have any questions please feel free to give me a call thank you for watching